Hello again. Okay, welcome to our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, again, don't forget to click, uh, click on the uh, subscribe button. Uh, we will be uploading videos every day. And don't forget also to click on the bell icon and click all so that you will be alarmed or notified whenever there are few videos uploaded in our channel. Okay, so let's have this uh, slingshot problem. This is also a board exam problem. Okay, board exam problem. So here we will be discussing on how to compute the force on a spring. Of course, this is a rubber band, but of course that behaves as a spring. Okay, so we have here the problem. The figure shows a pellet about to be fired on a sling. The total and stretch length of the rubber is 200 mm, the full, the whole rubber, no? passing through the pellet and then going back here. 200 mm, the rubber elongates one mm for every five Newton of force. The length A here is 210 and the width B is uh, 660 mm. First question, as the pellet is about to be released, what is the total elongation of the rubber? The second question, what is the force exerted on each leg of the rubber band? And the third part, what is the pulling force in Newtons? The force required to pull this pellet by this length. Okay, again, there are choices here. If you want, you can solve or you to solve the problem ahead to check. No? Then you can post this video and then solve it first and then you can resume to see the solution i advise for those who are preparing for the board exam you do this this will serve as practice for you no? so these are similar to board exam questions licensure exam questions so uh, you can always do this in our videos that has choices okay you can post the video Okay, so I hope uh, you did try solving it. So let's uh, solve the problem. So let's draw the top view of our slingshot. Okay, these are these points of this, uh, uh, these two points with a width of B. And then our rubber, let's draw the initial position, initial unstretched length. It says here that the rubber band, the unstretched length is 200 mm. So that means that every side of it will be 100. So this is 100 and 100. This is the unstretched length before the pellet is about to be fired. 100, 160. Did you get that? Okay. And then this was slowly stretched going to the right, increasing the length of the rubber like this. Okay. And stretch it again and stretch it further. That's it. So we have here the pulling force. That's the main question, actually. That's the main question, the pulling force. Okay, so it was uh, pulled to a distance of, it says here that A is 200 mm. This is the 200 mm. So with that position, the length of each side here will be, let's call it L1. Of course, by symmetry, they are equal. And we can solve L1 by Pythagorean theorem. Look here, a right triangle. L1 being the hypotenuse. This is half of B, and this is 210. So by Pythagorean theorem, L1 is equal to square root of 210 squared plus half of 60, that's 30 squared. So the length of each side before it was released is 212.132 millimeters. The question is the elongation of the rubber before when it is about to be released. So with L1 known, we can now compute the total length of the rubber before release. Obviously, that will be two times L1, 424. But listen, this is not the answer. The question here is the elongation. Uh, good that there is no 424 here. Otherwise, you could have chosen that answer. Okay, so the elongation is 424 minus the original length, which is 200 mm. 424 minus 200, that will be 224.3 mm. The answer is letter C. So I hope you got it correct. Okay. 
Part two, what is the force exerted in each leg of the rubber band? Okay, let's compute the force. To compute the force, we will use the spring, the formula. Uh, these are the forces. Let's call it F1, F1. Okay, so to compute the force, we need to compute the elongation of each leg. The initial length of the leg is 100. The final length is 212. So that the elongation of each leg, let's call it X, that will be L1 minus 100 mm. So that's 112.132 millimeters. Okay. The force in a spring due to its elongation X is given by the formula K times X, where K is the we call it spring constant, but that is the stiffness. That's the force required to stretch a spring by a particular distance. In this case, it was stated here that uh, the rubber elongates five new, uh, 1 mm for every 5 newton of force. So meaning your K is 5 newtons per 1 mm or 5 newtons per mm. That is the stiffness, how, how hard is the rubber. So 5 newtons. So if you elongate it by 2 mm, you need 10 newtons. Okay? So with X1 known, we can solve the force. That will be 5 times 112. So that's 560.66 newtons. Okay? That's the force on each leg before it is it was released. And that is here, letter A, 561 newtons. Okay? And finally... What is the pulling force? Of course, that will be the effect of the two F1, but that will not be the sum because F1 is have a different direction. So we need to compute the angle here, okay, for the third part. So we need to compute the angle. So this angle of F1 with the line of action of P. So let's call that theta. So what is that angle? Theta, theta, theta. So here it will be theta. Tangent of theta is opposite is 60. The adjacent is 210. 60 over 210. So that's tangent of theta. Huh? Ah, sorry. Sorry, sir. My apologies. 30 over 210. 30 over 210. So that is 8.13 degrees. So finally, summation of forces horizontal zero, then force to the right, P, equals the forces to the left, which is 2 times F1 cosine of theta. And that will give you 1,110 newtons. Okay. So that's it. I hope if you tried answering it, you got the correct answers. Huh? So thank you so much for this, uh, for watching this video. I hope you learn from this uh, video. And again, don't forget to click the subscribe button and please click on the uh, bell icon so that you will uh, be notified uh, with our upcoming videos. Thank you.